Hey guys, welcome back. So the other day I made a bunch of cookie dough and I'm going to bake it up today with my assistant. Me, hey. So the first thing that we're gonna to need to do is I need you to please go and get the cookie dough out of the fridge. Um, the next thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need the mat to roll them out with. So I'm gonna get that. Uh, and we'll need the rolling pin, obviously. Could you get that out of the drawer while I turn on the oven and roll them? These cookies cook really, really fast. They only cook for like 10 to 12 minutes, even at that temperature. So I just find it easier to turn it down and make sure I don't burn anything because I burn a lot. Alright, so cookie dough is out. That is awesome. And let's get rolling. Thank you. May I eat? I need some of them. No, you can't eat the cookie dough. Fine. Now, the reason that you put this in the fridge, could you stop that, please? Sorry. Sorry, it's just boring. I mean, I'm not doing it. Well, why don't you just go wait over there while I do this bit? Come back later. All right, bye, bye. All right, sorry about that. Could you get the other trays out, please? I need... Get the what? Yeah, I need two cooling racks and I need a, a normal oven tray. And... Could you pop that on the tray, please? Get out a little cutter. Just using this little round one for now. And just start cutting some circles. So that was my how to clean yourself to attempt and I've got to say this was ridiculous. It was so difficult uh, to do and I 100%, 100% blame myself. I overdid it. I thought wouldn't it be fun if I could have some kind of a, an engagement and uh, between the two people and like I don't know why I did that. I could have just done what Peter McKinnon did in his original video and sat down on a couch next to myself but I had to set it up and bake cookies with myself like an idiot. Halfway through actually filming it, I realized what I'd done and I was so frustrated, but I'd already started and I thought, keep going, soldier on, get it done. But I will take you through now some of the issues I made for myself and the reason why I would suggest that you do it simple if you're gonna try it and really plan it out and think about where you're going to be masking and where your masking points are before you get there. The first thing is that I found I couldn't sync the two storylines. Uh, I couldn't think ahead on the spot because, as I said, I didn't plan it. Um, and so I found myself having to crop in on the person who was talking at the time, which was the white shirt version of me, um, because the grey shirt version of me wasn't in the scene, wasn't doing anything, or, yeah, basically, I, w I pretty much just wasn't in the scene. As you saw, I got so frustrated, I literally kicked myself out of the video because I was just over it. I was just tired of trying to think it through while on camera and still act like I was talking about the same thing. Um, so I'm sorry for that, that it's a bit sidetracked and it's not really great. But that's kind of what this is about. It's about learning and realizing that sometimes simple is better. So I think using the fridge as the divider worked really well in most circumstances, but you can see in this one that I had to do some extra masking, um, bringing that hand around. There is like fuzziness around the fingers there and yeah, that happened a lot. It happened much worse at the end uh, because you can clearly see in the final kind of section of it that I am just too close to myself. I didn't think it through, I couldn't see it when I was filming it, but I am so close to myself that any gesture I do, and I do gestures when I talk, um, as you can see, uh, they're just 
they're just all up in each other's business for a lack of a better term so this bit I'm actually super proud of um I'm really surprised at how well I managed to get it to work out um so I pass the dough and the rolling pin over and I pick it up and very little crossover I have no idea how I managed to pull that off but the way that it works I'm just super proud of I'm also super proud of when I pass myself the baking paper. I just slide it right over to myself and pick it up. And again, I managed to make that look pretty flawless, if you ask me. If it's not, please don't tell me, because again, I'm just super proud in this whole thing that I found a couple of points that I just... I think I, I think I did well at. I found the actual tutorial really helpful, Peter McKinnon's tutorial. The link is below if you want to look it up for yourself and give it a go. Uh, it lays out really clearly exactly what you need to do to achieve this look. My advice for anybody is to go simple. I've said it so many times in this video already, but please go simple because if you do what I do, you're never going to finish it. Next bit of advice is when you're keying in those keyframes, just do it really detailed the first time. Don't do it sloppy hoping that you can fix it later because it's just so time consuming that if you take that little bit of extra time and just nail it the first time, you'll thank yourself because you just will never have to look at it again. All right guys, so that's it from me. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Please feel free to comment any tips below or if you have your own try, comment your link and I'll have a look. Subscribe if you like the video. I will be posting more clips of tutorials IRL uh, soon. So I hope to see you then. Until then, I'm out. Goodbye.